Good morning, this is Shansi with the HomeGage support team. Today I'm going to be reviewing with you how to use the HomeGage support center for finding answers to your questions on your own time. If you have your software open, you can access your HomeGage dashboard from there. And from your HomeGage dashboard, you can find Support Center. Or you can go directly to the, web, the internet and just put support.homegage.com and it'll navigate you to the same place. So at the top of the screen here, I'm going to use my HG Services button. And I need to be sure that I'm logged in. This way it'll navigate me to my HomeGage dashboard. So I'll click on HG Services and go down to Enter Inspector Username. I want to be sure I'm logged in here. I'll click Always Remember. By accessing the dashboard and then Support Center this way, you'll automatically be logged in, so you won't have to fill out any information should you need to submit a question. I'll go back up to HG Services after making sure I'm logged in. And I'm going to go down to my HomeGage dashboard. Currently, this screen is on my computer. This program lives on my computer. But when I click my HomeGage dashboard, it's going to navigate me to the internet and open up the browser. So I'll be at HomeGage.com. When the screen opens, I'll see my dashboard, the reports I've uploaded, that type of thing. And on the left, there's a menu. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's an option that says support right here. If you click on that, it'll navigate you to support.homegage.com. From the main page, you'll notice because I was logged in when I accessed the website, I'm logged in up here at the top right. And there's several options on the screen. There's an option to search, but before you even get there, there are several places where you can find answers to your questions. In the middle, there's an, ask, there's an area that talks about frequently asked questions and restoring your software, things that a lot of people come here to get the information to do. So that's like the basic highlights. If you wanted to know when the next training was or if you wanted to watch some videos, all that's right there and you don't even have to search for it. On the left-hand side, there's support categories. So if you're just getting started, you might click on getting started. And when you do that, it brings in some, some information to the middle of the screen. If you just purchased your software, it tells you information about the beginner's playlist, which is a series of videos on YouTube. A variety of different things. When you're just learning the software that you may have gotten to a certain point where you needed some questions answered, and most people come up with these same questions. But if you use this menu on the, light, the, on the left rather even further, you'll notice that there's these little plus signs to the left of some of the options right here. That means that there are subcategories underneath there. And if you click on the little plus sign, it'll open up that menu. <clears throat> so if you wanted to know how to restore your software or how to work photos and videos, basically this kind of breaks it down for you. There's more down here. So you can use this just basically, it's going to bring up several topics, maybe based on a topic that you're looking to find information on. If you scroll down to the further, it has important topics. Here's even some more things that people come and ask, things that we like for everyone to know. And we want to make it easy to find. So if you're using WordPress with us, this gives you some information on WordPress. If you wanted to download one of your uploaded reports, you could click here, and it would give you some information on that. Basically, this is the question. It even has a video. I'm going to navigate back to the main page by clicking on HomeGage Support Center at the top left corner. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find on the left there's something called Tags. When a question is submitted as a frequently asked question, we try to tag it based on its topic. It looks kind of funny because there's lots of small words and medium words and large words over here. But that's because the larger the font for the topic, for the tag, the more information there is there. So currently, there's only a little bit about email setup. 
but there's lots of information about the companion or home gauge five. So you could come here and sort of, it's sort of like a topic, a general topic. You can just come and click companion or click reports and it'll give you a lot of, a list of options to find some information. So if you've done all that, or maybe you came directly to the site because you were looking for a particular bit of information, you can use the search button. I know it kind of seems like you'd want to type an entire question in there, but really all you want to do is kind of keep to the main topic. So if you were trying to um, use the cloud to transfer a report to your companion, you might just type in cloud and then click search. And here's a lot of topics on the cloud. How do I get my companion? How do I get my report? Because I couldn't get it to the cloud. Um, when I move my report from the cloud, it talks about templates. So you can find answers to your questions here. You can put a few words in there. If you type an entire question, uh, you'll get your answers as well. But I find it to be faster if you just stick to a few words, main words based on what you're trying to look for. It'll search the name of the question, it'll search the content of the answer, plus the keywords and the tags that we gave it when we entered it. So if you came in here and you were trying to find an answer, and for some reason or another you couldn't find it, this database is still growing, we're adding things to it every day, and you guys help us by submitting questions. So if you wanted to submit a question to us because you couldn't find your answer, at the top right there's an option that says ask a question. So you could click on that, and then you can just post your question here. It's going to come to one of us at HomeGage. It'll come directly into one of our emails. And if it's a really good question, we are going to make it a frequently asked question, and we'll post it on the site. If it is a question that's already in our database and maybe you couldn't find it, we'll refer you to that. And if it's just a general question that's more specific to you, we'll respond directly in an email. You can even see open questions that other inspectors have posted. So if you click on open questions at the top right, you can see that someone's posted a question regarding our new appointment manager. Inspectors can reply to this. If you're an inspector and you know the answer to a question that someone has posted, you can reply to it. We will check your answer just to be sure that the information that you're giving is accurate and if it is we will post it as an answer. So I'm going to return to the HomeGage Support Center. So that's basically how you navigate the new HomeGage Support Center. You can use the menus on the left under support categories or important topics or even tags at the bottom. You can search for a specific topic here you can even ask a question if you need to. And don't forget, there's even a feature called Advanced Search. It's right under the search bar. And if you click on it, it really kind of gives you a list of the specific categories. So if you know what, it's your, what it is you're looking for and you think you know what category it'll be in, it'll help you to find it faster. I hope that helps. Please use the Support Center to find your answers, especially during hours where we're not in the office. This is a great way to learn and a great way to teach yourself. And if you can't find what you're looking for, please post an open question. We want this database to be as accurate as possible. It's always growing, and we rely on you guys to help us make it awesome, as usual. Thank you so much. We appreciate you all.